This is usability testing for a newly designed parking meter prototype that has more payment options than the units that are currently installed. So you've come into a parking meter, uh, you've parked, and uh, now you're going to pay. So press the start button. Start. And then you're parked in spot A. Space A. You're going to be parked for 25 minutes. Type in your time into the calculator using yeah. minutes, not hours, to enter in your time. If you're, want, if you're wanting two hours, you can type in 120. After you've calculated the amount of time, choose whether it is correct or not. Then choose your payment type and proceed from there. 25. And then you're paying, you're paying with coins, so put in 45 cents. Yes. Take your receipt, and it goes back to the start. Okay. Uh, was there any point that you had any uh, questions or didn't understand anything? Um, the only thing I didn't really get right away um, before I read the instruction was it kind of just looks like a telephone number pad to me, so I was confused if there should be a decimal, but once I read the instructions I was told, you know, punch in the amount of minutes you're going to be here rather than in hours uh, made perfect sense, so other than that everything went pretty smooth. Okay. Alright, you've just come, you've parked your car, and I need to start the parking. Press start. And you're parked in space B. Space B. Do you wish to continue? Yes. You're going to be parked for one hour. It says that I should punch in my time in minutes. So um, six zero for sixty minutes. Okay, and you're paying with your debit card. Debit. This is the correct payment and option. Yes. In time. Okay, swipe your card. Your card was declined. Would you like to try again? Yes. Okay, and swipe your card again. And that time it worked. So would you like a receipt? Yes. Yes. Okay. Is there any? Was there any point? Any parts of it that uh, you had some questions about, or you didn't get right away? Um. The only part I didn't really get right away was um, the numbers on the payment screen. I couldn't quite figure out why there was a a pound sign and a, a star on it, but um, I get what I was, was going for, a, sub, a familiar familiar pattern of numbers, but I really liked the design, it was really easy to use, it was really step by step, um, and it confirmed everything as I went. Um, it would have been a little, a little cool to see confirmation of that, each individual thing, but I understand with paper it's kind of hard to do. Um, so. I think definitely it, it worked out really well for me. Um, it's something I would use and wouldn't have a problem using on the street, and I think it's something that is pretty pretty easy to use, so it would be pretty universal. That's good. Okay, so you come to the parking meter, and you need to pay, so go ahead. Alright, press to start. start. Okay, and you're parked in space A. Alright, space A. Do I wish to continue? Yes. You know, take some time and read those directions. Okay. Let's see. Pay 15 minutes, 25 cents. Take your time.
Uh, and you're staying there for an hour and a half. Hour and a half. Ooh, this gets complicated now. All right, so type my time. Yep. So it is how long I want to stay? Yes. Okay. In minutes. In minutes. Yes. Okay, so hour and a half is 90 minutes. Okay, and you're paying with cash. Cash. Yeah. Okay, so well, ca oh. yeah, cash. Cash. Is this the correct time and payment option? Yes. Please insert payment. Okay, and we don't have. Money, okay. So. Cha ching Yes, you put it in the Would I like a receipt? Sure. Great. That's it. Okay. So you come to park. Uh, so go ahead and press the start. And you park in space B. Okay, instructions. Type in your time into the calculator. Use minutes, not hours, to enter in your time. If you were waiting two hours, or wanting two hours, you would type in 120. After you have calculated the amount of time, choose whether it is correct or not. Then choose your payment type and proceed from there. Okay, so you're parked for 35 minutes. Okay. 